Greetings and welcome back to Factory Town. I'm Catherine of Sky, and I just wanted to say a huge thank you to all of the members of my channel, all of the patrons, and everybody who sits and watches ads. I know there are a few people who can't support in any other way, and I just wanted to tell everyone I really appreciate you being here, and y'all are great. Um, all right, so in this episode, last episode, I should say, we made tons of books and things and supplies and good stuff. And Emma is right now thinking about poom pooming my elbow, but she has not uh, decided to do so after I patted her tail. Uh, so that means I shall game unimpeded. But anyway, uh, what we wanted to do is unlock mining. That was an important thing for us to do. We also wanted to upgrade our nature books. And to do that, we needed some fish oil which is produced by a medicine hut. Um, and then we also needed a remedy, which is also produced by a medicine hut, amazingly enough. So a remedy is easy. It's just herbs and water. We have herbs by the plenty over here, and we also have water. The fish oil, we need to be, uh, I think, having fish. And the fish that I found that's closest is here. I don't know quite how to get it, but we're gonna try. <laughs> I forgot how to get fish from long time ago, but we are testing also the interface and the game and seeing how how well things work for us, shall we say. So, all right, let's get stuff going right now. Um, we need to do some more research and we need to get the, we need to get a fishery. Okay, that requires more nature research points, which we don't have. We also need to get the, Hello? Where is it? Uh, er, hello? Oh, here it is. Natural Knowledge Tome Level 2. Now, we need blue coins. We have no idea how to get blue coins other than we need to give them medicine. So bandages, poultices, wraps, medical wraps, fish oil. Uh, these things will help our people grow their interest in health-based products. So let's see what we can give them. Uh, all right, let's make a building. An apothecary sounds like a great place. Oh, this, this is distributes and sells medicinal goods. All right, let's put this apothecary here because this is our kind of like distribution area way out in the fringes that's going to connect to our town and, and make them all light up in happiness. Hooray. Oh, there's a house that had seven happiness. That's great. Cool. So, um, right. So let's get some other buildings, which I have no idea what they are. They're going to be Forester Farm Kitchen Medicine Hut. That sounds promising. Let's put that down and see what it got, does. I love this game because like you can move buildings wherever you want them. I love that part of it. It's kind of great. So, all right, we need to make stuff here. So we have some easy stuff. This is a bandage is made with, what is that? is this oh it's made with a bandage oh geez okay never mind brain brain fell out for a moment there a remedy is four blue coins this is three blue coins one blue coin and of course fish oil is two blue coins we can't make any of these other things yet so we need to really get some of these other stuffs i think the remedy is going to be the easiest to make uh because we already have the herbs that is not a problem we already have the fire uh, we already, well, water is easy too, so let's make ourselves a remedy. And I'm going to go ahead and place this thing. Maybe we place it um, right around where exactly? We could put it, so here's our forest up here. What we could do is I kind of want to move or uh, split off the log production here because we could make more logs there quite easily just to power these fires. Uh, let's put this maybe here. So it has a straight shot over there to this place. So let's let's just set that up real quick. Uh, and get that going. So there we go. Get our cloth conveyor belts all the way over and deliver stuff. Perfect. Now then, we need water and we need fire. So the fire is going to be easy peasy coming from this angle here. Yep. Yeah. I do want you to go there. Yes. Perfect. Yay. Okay. Yeah, sure. Eh, please. There we go. Yay. Okay. So that's our fire. Uh, now all we need is some, okay. We need our water as well. So let's copy this and paste the pipeline. Let's see. G there we go. Boom. 
Uh, and here, I think what we want to do here is do a splitter immediately there and then take this kind of along these lines uh, over there. So let's get our splitter, uh, which is F3. And we're going to, oh, actually, first we need to get a shoot going that away. Like that. Take this shoot up here. And maybe we do it over the top of this conveyor belt. I think that could be good. Yeah. I don't know if this is going to work. I have no idea. Let's see if it does work. F1. If not, we have to start this stuff earlier. So ramp here. Then height thingy there and thingy up here. That doesn't work either. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, X. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. This should work there and have another ramp up there and have our stanchion there. And that's what's going to work for us. Okay, and we'll add this thing right there. Get our arches, arch. Oh, and I forgot the one right here. Oopsies. No. Whoa, that did not happen the way I wanted it to. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, uh, this is perfect. So let's get this. Again, you have to kind of put things on the corner points of where you want to add them. So let's add our cloth conveyor belts here. You know, one of the first things I absolutely loved about this game was that you had these like marble runs, like with the logs and stuff rolling into place. That's so cool. I love that. All right. What are we doing here? We are making medicine hut. How much do they need here? They let's do one per second if we can. So this is that takes a second. Really? No, really? Connected to water tiles. We, we do have water. Uh, we could do a re this. There's no way this takes one second. I must be missing something. Work units. Oh no! I've forgotten to add the work units in. No! So this takes actually six seconds to make. Oh my god. I have not noticed that ever. Oh. Uh, ratios be bad right now. Mm. Alright. We're going to improve this thing. Show it is. All right, we have workers five there. Hi, okay. It's fine. This takes four work units. <laughs> Everything is messed up. And the thing about it is, it's like we never see how many... Wait a second. This is three per second. Three work units per second, right? Oh my god, this is so confusing. Because I wish that it gave us like a total output of power or total output of something... You know, like how many are we actually making per second? This is really frustrating. So these are two per second. So we need six workers here, probably. This we also need. Let's add a few there. These are making six work units a second. And they need four to chop wood. Oh, this is going to break my brain. This is really going to break my brain. I'm, I'm not... I'm sad. This makes me very sad. All right, let's do this up and we're going to do our three per second. So that's one every half a second. Oh, God. This is going to do my head in, I swear. All right, let's get a splitter here. And we also need many workers here. Let's do workers here. Let's have five workers here. Now we could add the boosters, but I don't want to do that just yet because that's going to really mess things up or really. <laughs> there are many variables right now that have to be stored in my brain and the brain just doesn't have enough RAM. I'm not very good at brain RAM because, man, I got these migraines all the time, 24-7 and all the brain RAM happens there. All right, so let's get three workers here at least to get three per second. Oh. Yeah, we do actually have stuff stacking up and we could be making them faster. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, hooray. All right. Well, we are selling stuff. We have 100 blue coins. Yay. Oh, the sadness is real. And see, I thought I was doing the correct ratios the whole time, but no, 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 no. No, 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 no. We are not doing any of that stuff. Mining. Let's go. We have a mine now. Uh, these places are almost depleted. Let's check out our mine. I just want to cry, actually. Uh, all right, so we need a pickaxe. Oh, really? Um, reinforced planks, which is 
those bars plus a thingy thing. So we need a few of these pickaxes and a few reinforced planks. Now, I think the reinforced planks are going to become part of our regularly scheduled uh, program. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right, so pickaxes are produced where in the workshop, I think, again? Let's see, they're produced in a workshop. These are also in the workshops. So we need planks and thingy, and we need, what are those two thingies? Nails, I think. I think the forge also produces the nails, if I remember correctly. Wowie, this is um, new fun things. We're just gonna say that, <laughs> new fun things. We're gonna pretend it's fun, yeah. Those work units, man. The work units are scary. Uh, ooh, we can add people here. That's nice. All right, we have tons of stuff, and we don't have any fire going on. So let's get some more workers here. Because I feel like we need more We need more fire for sure. So now they're adding more fire. Hooray. All right, so... Gosh, what do we need here? We need to get a workshop. And we're going to probably limitedly produce this for a tiny bit. All right, let's get our forestry service going on. Let's collect one over here. And then I want to make a plank workshop, which is the lumber mill, of course. So we're going to get that going on over there. So here we're going to have our, let's see, F3, F1. Yeah, F1. There we go. And then have our grabber. Boom. And you are going to be making planks. Okay. This doesn't need anything. Now, we want to make both of these for now. So it's a bit interesting. See, this outputs those. So we need to make sure that we have both things available to us. I'm going to add... So in this workshop, we can make both things, right? I'm going to make both things, in fact. Let's do a... The workshop right there. Let's make this workshop right here. Okay, so we're going to get our... I don't know if lumber can travel on stuff, but we're just going to use this for now. So lumber goes there. We're going to make our... Reinforced planks. Ooh, pickaxe. I don't know what we need a wood axe for. Ooh. Sellable in the general store. Okay, that's fun. Uh, but for now, we're gonna we want to make these things to go into a barn or two. So I'm gonna make two barns. Oops, excuse me, excuse, excuse me. So at least we have two full barns of this stuff. So what I want to happen is we have a conveyor belt coming along the front of this, and then going in. And then we can have one on top also going in. We'll just put in a thingy there. And then we'll have this one split off. Let's see. We need a splittery do over here. Oh, that's perfect. It's on the flat part. I'm, I'm guessing that helps or something. Let's see. Take this down and put it down there. Okay, so that is, let's put it straight and then it can split off to the side. Now the second piece is going to come up here. And we're going to have this up there. Uh, this should be just fine to come out of the same building. Oopsies, I missed that up. Okay, uh, X this. We can also X this bit over here. Hello, there we go. Okay. Okay, and how do we get this to happen? Let's see. This is at an angle. Not an angle, but a, a height. It is at a height, shall we say. Let's go here. This is going to be our nails, I think. I don't know if we need nails for anything else, so we're going to just leave it to go into production for now. Let's get this there first and then go down here. Oh, this is so beautiful. If I had to make that on my own, I would probably just be like, you know, nope. But this is great. I'm so glad that this quality of life is here. It's so, 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 so nice. 
All right, so we have five people now working here. We have enough fire, I think. We could use a little bit more fire, maybe. Let's add another worker or several. All right. Okay, yay. Good, good. All right, we have nails. We have plank thingy thingies on the bottom. And we should be making some stuff. Now, I do want to get our barns in here. The barns, I do feel like they're enormous. I'm not really a big fan of them being so big. But it's okay. We're going to just deal. We're going to deal. Let's put one here and one here. And we're going to have our conveyor belts loading each. So one is going to be for the reinforced planks. The other one is going to be for the pickaxes. And I just want to have a barn of each of them. And it's going to work. Hooray. I'm kind of liking stacking these conveyor belts, uh, mostly because uh, it saves space on the surface area of, of our planet. Now, we do have all these other areas that we can actually buy, which could be kind of good because it could reveal some other resources that we don't have yet. But now we have the materials, maybe. Oh, wait, we don't have the reinforced planks yet. Hello? Are you guys making stuff? Hello? Hello? Maybe? Maybe. Are you getting stuff? You don't have any of those thingies. Is it? Is it? Hello? Let's see. Let's see. Is anything coming out of here? Oh, gosh. Okay, so for whatever reason, it's prioritizing the nails because it's only getting one at a time. So I'm going to turn off the nails for now. And maybe what I do is make a second thing. I thought it would, like, alternate the production, but apparently that's not a thing. I thought it was doing that before, but I guess not. I'm going to go ahead and make a second one of these and have one person loading... Actually, maybe we'll get another person just mining stuff to, for nails. Okay, so this person, I think, is just going to make iron plates. Okay, that's good. And then you make nails. So this one is going to be nails only. Let's click that. And then we delete these uh, thingies. Hex, go, go, bye-bye. And just take this one from here. There we go. Just like that. Perfect. Just need the grabber and we're good. Okay. Nails. There we go. Ray. Block is not linked. Oh, is it too? Oh, it's not high enough. Okay. Sometimes I'm not a fan of this, but it's okay. We're going to try. We're going to do our best. There we go. Okay. So nails coming in, I hope. Oh, and no fire. We have no fire. Dang it. No fire. So here is where we have a tiny bit of a conundrum. I think what we do is we replace this chute here. So let's X that chute and make a conveyor belt there and have a conveyor belt up and going over. No, that doesn't work at all. Um, all right, X this and make a flatness happening there. I don't know why it didn't do a flat, but it's okay. Don't worry. Here, we might need to actually make this an upper, make it a little bit higher. So this can be flat there. I think that's what we need here. So let's start with this being an upper. Oopsies. Uh, R. There we go. Nice. And this has to be a flat here or here to get into there. So let's see if it will be smart enough to do this. <laughs> of course, what may happen is that these people are no longer able to uh, go to their, their assigned areas. And that may be a problem. Oh, hello, hello kitten, how are you doing? Nice kitten, okay. We had a kitten pass by, hooray, Emma's here. Okay, so if we have a this, let's see if that works. Okay, they are going under stuff, which is kind of nice. Let's see, what are you doing? You have tons of iron ore, so that's good. All right, so this works. This is good. They're having to go a little bit around, but that's okay. That will be solved by the mine, I think. And now we should be able to get some of these items since they're on made by two different buildings now. 
So let's, we can probably take a couple of people off of this because it looks like they're not filling up on iron ore at all. Um, and then we ha just have one person working there. I think that's enough. Let's see, we have seven pickaxes. Why are we not? Oh, is this, hello? Oh, oh we made one reinforced plank. Hooray. Oh, <laughs> God. All right. So that's a thing. Apparently, it just takes forever. Uh, but we are sharing with the other place. So that is what I'm really looking forward to is getting those darn things. In the meantime, we have tons of happiness. So let's go ahead and get another six houses. Hooray. And that's good. That's really good. So, uh, all right, let's get our houses placed in here. And at this point, we could either extend this. We could extend it many different directions. We could cover the houses on the bottom. We could make more on the top. That's definitely an idea. Uh, I don't know exactly how high this goes because when I was looking at my test game, I don't think the houses got as tall as they are in this playthrough. So... Yeah, that's a, that's a thing that we need to think about. But uh, maybe we just extend this side and have them go that way. So I think it's five or something. One, two, three, four, and five. Maybe six. Let's try that. Here we have here. One, two, three, four, five. Of course, it also has to be in line because I think I didn't do it in line last time. We can always check by adding our roads to these areas and making just sure that they're straight and they are. Hooray. So we just add these across and across and then we can delete the roads here. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. Yeah, good, good, good. All right, so we don't need the roads on the sides but we may want to extend it. So let's add our houses in here. They each need a three by three square. Okay, and that is our 28 houses. Boom. So we'll wait for them to eat, drink, and be merry <laughs> like crazy. Hooray. Uh, wow, we also need to figure out some stuff here. We have this farm. This is full, I guess. What are we lacking? This probably, this area, I think we need, yeah, we need 12 work units here. This is nuts for these shirts. Oh my gosh. So we could ask, add a yellow coin booster. So the yellow coin boost gives us one unit per second, but it costs us one coin. I guess if we look at it in terms of how much we make per shirt, well, this is red coin. So this is kind of like, we can't really do much about that. But hopefully we're selling the other ones enough. So we're doing six per second. So that's a half a shirt per second or half a coat per second. Well, not really because we are... We're sharing that with the shirt production as well. So, yeah. All right. So many variables to take in con into consideration. I really, really wish that you get the actual amount of stuff per time. That would be really nice in this, uh, in this equation here. Because I'm finding it kind of frustrating. It's like, why is this this way? This shouldn't be this this way. All right. We have... Why do we have nothing in storage? Hello? We have... We need for a reinforced plank. Oh, we're making pickaxes out of those reinforced planks. Oh, all right. So how much do we need for a mine? A mine will set us back 10 pickaxes and 10 reinforced planks. So I think what we should do is we should have a splitter there or even better, like two different places. Yeah, the reinforced plank is extremely expensive and of course the pickaxe is made from that. So I guess what let's let's pause the pickaxe recipe for now. Just take it off and just have them make reinforced planks and that way we can at least have one mine that is feeding this group of forges. That's going to be an interesting thing. Maybe we feed them above this uh inclined uh thing over here. Maybe that's what we do. We could also buy this area. It's only 500 coins. Let's buy it. Let's buy it. Ooh, we have a temple here, a water temple, and it gives one work unit per second. That's kind of cool. I don't know what that means. Uh, oh no, it just, it's, they make water crystals apparently. 
Very interesting. Okay, cool, cool. No idea how to use that yet, but it's okay. So we got some stuff. We got some tomatoes. We got pears. We have wood. We have stone. I guess that's stone, right? No, mana shards. Okay, those are mana shards. Nice. We also have some uh, grain here. We have sugar. I remember that used to be a thing where you couldn't plant items until you had had gathered at least one of them but it lo looks like you can plant anything right now so far kind of an interesting change okay we have three reinforced planks so that's going to take some time i feel uh all right so how are we doing on blue coins we have 159 why are we hello oh that's happiness never mind 860 blue coins hey it's round and it's blue never mind uh <laughs> let's look at our research now and we have, we can get the fishery. Let's do that. That's important. Yay. All right. And we can also get the natural tome, knowledge tome, level two. Cool. Yes, we need that. Uh, the industrial knowledge tome is, would be nice to get machinery and steam power. But we really need to get that darn mine first because that's going to improve our production here massively. So that's our first task. We need much more than five reinforced planks. This is a bit ridiculous. I guess we can put an extra worker here or two. And just have them gathering this stuff. Whoopsies. Hello. Gather there and deliver to there. Okay. Alrighty. Let's get back to the natural tome level two so what we need for this is um let's get this out here and we want to do a we need to get okay so fish oil produced by medicine hut and then we need the remedy produced by medicine hut hmm imagine that so with this, I think what we're going to do is a couple of things. Let's see. This is lacking in herbs mostly. I think we need to increase the herbs here. We might need a worker, but I think we better, better is just to plant more herb gardens. And maybe, maybe we add another hut here. That's another possibility. So let's see. Uh, I want to add many farm tiles. Let's just add all the farm tiles we can and add the bushes on top. This is going to be really much better. So these are just being completely eaten. Even at the fast pace of these conveyor belts, they are just not, we need a, we need another herb hut, I think over here. Let's see. We have, they're just eating all of the remedies right now, completely eating them. So. What we might want to do, we might actually need an, uh, another herb hut uh, with another conveyor belt with herbs on it. So this is producing many, many, and I think we need another herb hut. Yeah, I think so. that's what we need. So what we can do here is we can do a splittery do over here like this and take this that away see i wish it wouldn't cancel the thing if i it's like why game don't do that eh. so silly it's like i don't know why it cancels it if it's red at the end it's okay if it's red at the end we know we're, we're aware it's fine you know not a big deal i'm good there we go let's do this and we'll do a splittery do right there all right all right, this one is also going to be a... Oh, there's a way to copy... A way to copy the thingies from one to another. Okay, so remedy going here, but... Ooh. Maybe we do this a bit differently. I was just thinking, maybe we should just put this closer here. And then add it on another belt. Yeah, that could be a better idea. Okay, one thing I do want to do is maybe take this conveyor belt and go this way. That way, like that. So that the books come in on this first belt instead. Yeah, there we go. And maybe we move this hut over toward here. Let's move that. Move, move, move. 
over here instead. Yeah, we can move this right there. Do I have enough space? Yes, I think. Yeah, I think this works if I do this here. And then here, we can actually get some more herb space right there. We can get these guys in our uh, backyard. And those are untouched by the other garden. This one, oh wait, that doesn't matter. Eh, okay, never mind. Can I move these, uh, these things? Maybe, yeah, cool. Great, nice. Let's get these um, herb, okay. For whatever reason, you cannot pick an, up an herb plant. It only picks up the plant or the tile underneath it. I, I'm not a big fan of this uh, because these are harder to get. The herbs are actually on, oh geez, I shouldn't have done that. The, I mean, the farm tiles are on the menu, but it's really a lot to put all these things on the menu. Okay, let's just add these here like that. Um, and also around here, we can just kind of just add them all around. Seems good. Now then, we'll get our chute here and our grabber there. This grabber is going to go there and we're going to do a raised thingy over here. Gonna go up and clonk and up again. And then we're going to stop here. Let's go ahead and delete this. We can take that under there. All right, and get this height one there. Okay, that's what we want. Take our cloth conveyor belt and go up and down. There we go. Okay, good, good things. Good timings. So what do we got here? We got a person working on herbs. They are processing the herbs into what? Remedies? All right, we need a, uh, oh, yes, we need a couple of wells. Now that's the thing I haven't even connected here, silly me. Goodness me. Okay, let's pick that up, pick up a well. We're gonna add one here. This is gonna be for the farm, I think. And this will be for the herb hut. This will be for the farm. Let's press G, press F4, and fluid pipes. There we go, boom. Nice, okay, good. Now then, uh, we can pick up our farm tile over here and just kind of spread the rest around. We have tons and tons of manure fertilizer. So that's not uh, any problem at all. This, we might just extend this within that farm boundary and grab the herbs again, or herbs, depending on where you're from. And yes, both are valid. Okay, so, right, now we have stuff happening. We need to get the fish going. And that's gonna be a little bit more interesting. Let's see, fish are gathered by an herbalism hut, I think. Uh, let's see, these guys, we can get the fish oil. Fish oil are, is, or fish are produced by a fishery. So let's get the fishery happening. Do we have a fishery on here? No, no, we don't. Okay, fishery, buildings. Yeah, I consider most of these buildings on the menu are completely useless because like the icons, they're, they're okay, but they're also extremely tiny. Uh, and these are so much better because they have the name on them. Okay, so fishery, hooray. This can be here, hooray. Okay, so they need what? They just need fish, cool. So they have connected fishing tiles, six work units equals one fish. Let's have three workers making many works per second. We can do seven per second, which is more than one fish a second. This is fantastic. Now then, the other place, let's see, if we do a fish thing, it's just fish plus uh, things equals fish oil. All right, and that's all they need. They just need fish oil. So let's get that fish oil to them. I think we might do this just across the road and then take a long kind of conveyor over. Let's put that here. Let's just select this and do fish oil. I'm gonna try to do one per second. They need five work units, so five a second is good. 
They also need what? Nothing. Okay, that's it. They don't need water or anything. I don't know if fish can go on a shoot. We're going to try this though. Can they go on a shoot? No, they cannot. I didn't think so, but it could have been like a water slide for the fish. Though the fish are probably at a point where they don't care anymore, but you never can tell. Okay, let's take this over in a conveyor belt. There we go. Okay, fish happening. Good. Now then, uh, we need to get here. That is our destination. So I think we're going to just take a conveyor this away like this. Uh, and that's can go kind of like this. Actually, no, I don't want to do that. I want to do this differently. I want to leave room for buildings here. So I'm going to take this conveyor belt and just do this and have the output be here. Not that. This. Thank you. All right. And this is going to go into there. So we're going to take our conveyor belt and go this away. Do we have enough stuff for a mine? Yes, we do. All right. So that's good. We have a little bit extra here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the pickaxes again so that we can start making another mine. Let's build our first mine. Oh, actually, let's just make sure this works, by the way. And also, one thing that I would like to do is maybe we do a different thing with this. We do a... Let's X off this cloth conveyor belt because I want to do something slightly different. Just one more tile. We need to do this, I think. So we need to have two different items coming out. And those filters are going to be tome level two. And we're going to have... Um, industrial level one because I don't want it to output any more of the natural knowledge tome because it is used in the other product to create the other product so that one is right there it is waiting for the fish oil and it should get there shortly okay let's watch this happen it's nice nice when it happens and we have all the things we need really uh, okay here it goes natural knowledge level two all right, and they're making all the things right now. And the big books are going to the school. Fantastic. So yeah, the school, I kind of wish I could have it closer, but you can't. You have to have it within the town center range. I suppose, well, oh, 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 we can upgrade. Hello? Yay. We'll, oh, we'll upgrade this. Yay. Okay, so that adds an even, yeah, we could even move the school around. You want to do that? Let's move it. Let's move this thing. Move the school a bit closer, like right there, maybe? And just have these books go on a shorter conveyor belt, because that's fine. Yeah, let's do that. Let's have them move this away instead. Take it there. Boom. All right. And we need to link to the school, or to the town center. So there we go. And it's linked, and the belt is shorter. Hooray. This is good. So now we're going to generate those nature knowledge points at a huge, huge rate compared to the other things. We can get machinery. This gives us a machine shop and a packager. I kind of want to do the mines first. Let's, let's just not overwhelm ourselves and just keep on going on this path of happiness here. So a mine. Now let's take this mine and put it over here. Okay, place next to minerals to automatically harvest them. Oh, is this not nice? So we have our recipe, iron ore. Sounds great. Does it say anything about... I don't know if it uses them up. I'm kind of worried about that. I think there, there are situations where it does. So, yeah. All right, we're going to take all of our peeps and go over here. Uh, uh, okay, well, let's see. There's a couple that are annoying and they are... Let's drop them off. Let's go. Come on, folks. Put the iron ore in. Go, go, go. And one can't. Oh my god. All right. Let's go. All right. You just go over here. And I just want to kind of delete them all. Bye bye. All right. They go back to their permanently resting state, just putting their feet up, enjoying whatever passes for sort of television or YouTube in there. And it's all good. Now then, uh, let's add a little bit of layer here. Uh, all right. And there, let's add one more layer there. I think we need it. So here and there and 
gonna try to take this thing like this. Ay, that's not what I wanted to do. We need one more layer there. Let's see if we can do the do that and if that helps us. We need that to I think be flat so we can do that. And I think what we can do here is do a three way there. I'm, I don't know if that's going to work. I really don't know, but we're going to see because it might need an actual path to go in there. We will see if this gets any, any form of input here. Of course, it's going to be hard to tell because we're not using any nails apparently. Uh, all right. So we do need this iron to get delivered because right now it's suffering. It's like, no, Hey, KOS, we have nothing right now. Help us help. Let's help them and add this stuff. So go there, please. And you go up. Yay. All right. So here we have the iron pouring out of the iron mine, which is great. We can actually add more workers. I really want to do that mining layer. Ooh, there's more mining to happen. Hello. That's interesting. I didn't know there was such a thing as a mining layer. I think that's new. There's a pipe layer, steam pipe layer, mana pipe layer, omni pipe, and then overhead grid layer. All right, we're going to get out of that. And okay, this is too high to get in there, I think. So we need to X this, take it down another level, and try to get it to a level where it actually is quite happy to be there. Let's try that. I don't know if it's going to work, but we'll try. Yeah, that's too high. Okay, let's do this and add another layer and try to go in there. A lot of this game is about experimentation and I really don't mind because it's quite fun. Uh, if I, if I get those, I don't know how nails are going to happen. Let's see if we run out of nails, we know what's going to happen. So, all right, what's happening here? We have a huge amount of input here. So we definitely need more workers at the forge. Okay. Five. Okay. That is looking pretty darn good. Oh, this is so much better than those people walking around or hopping about, you know? Okay. We can't actually add anything here. We could add a little bit of yellow coin booster. I think we need to let's do that. Uh, yellow coin boost is giving us one, one unit per second. So that's four, four, six, and this is three, four. Okay. So we need a little bit more if it's going to take the entire amount. Let's see this thing. Oh, it is eating some iron. Let's see. It had one. Oh, wait. Did, oh God. Yeah, it is. It is. Cause it is using some and it's immediately being refilled. So that's good to know. That's good to know that a splitter will work even if there's no extra path uh, to, to get it going. Okay, so that's fabulous. We have this working now and I'm really looking forward to getting the next uh, industrial stuff going on because we do have a fair amount of stuff here to do with the industry. Oh no, go away, go away. Uh, we have machinery and steam power. Now we have 51. Do we want anything for this? We'll see. These things are required for a steam engine and industrial knowledge tome two. Let's see what that requires. I want to see what, what, what is needed there for this. Level two needs iron wheels, steam pipes, and work units. So that it could actually be kind of an easy thing if we unlock that. Let's go ahead and get our research up. No, no, I didn't want to do that thing. Nope. Goodbye. Nope. Okay. Let's get back. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Right. Machinery is all right. Let's see. Tome level two. Oh, we need both of them for the tome. Right. Okay. Uh, we also have a harvester drill. I have no idea what that is. We could look, we have a packager also the packager. If I remember correctly, let's look at our buildings again and check what these things are. Let's see. Machine shop gives us mechanical gadgets. All right. Packager bundles and unpacks items for greater transportation. Uh, yeah. Quantities. That's great. That's actually really great. I, that's what I thought it was. Okay. Magic forge. Uh, many, many things. Water pump. Okay. Uh, steam generator, machine shop, packager train station. Yay. Okay. That's cool. 
We want to get all these things. All the things and all the stuffs. What was the other thing? Machine shop, specialty goods. Okay, that's our magic stuff that we don't have access to yet. Water pump, mage tower, packager, train. Wait, what was the other thing that we we're supposed to look at? I don't remember. Anyway, we have many options here that are going on. Let's see, this is needing what? We're lacking in this stuff, surprisingly. What's going on here? You guys don't have enough something. What's going on here? Hello? Oh, there's not enough fire. No, that can't be right. There isn't enough fire. Oh, no. I forgot the fire. Oh, I'm bad. I so bad. I forgot the fire for a long, long, long time. So long that I didn't even remember it. Oh, this is bad. Okay, let's get the fire real quick because we're kind of at a point where we really should stop this episode, but we're going to do it anyway. So let's get the fire going because, man, that was bad. Bad. All right. Ah, I can't believe I forgot that. I thought everything was ready. Nine, 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 nine. All right, let's go up here and go here and turn and go there and it's in. And I'll take the shoot this way just for extra speed. Not that it matters because we're limited by the speed on the conveyor belt. Hopefully, I think we can, yeah, we can get it at this height. So that should be fine. I can't believe I forgot the fire. So it's like this, these, these magical tomes have been waiting for me. So sad, so sad. Fire is happening. Hooray, and we finally have a thing. I think we need to add some workers here to get those tomes made because we have tons of herb uh, produce and we have plenty of fire as well. So that's going to finally get our magical tomes going on. Wow. That's fun. Uh, we could add a red coin booster if we feel like it. I don't know if we really need it, though we know that these magical bits are are sold to our people for stuff. Oh yeah, that's what they're doing. They're selling them for the coins here. So we have tons of red coins. I don't know, are we lacking anything? Oh, we have tons to, con to create the uh, natural knowledge. So let's go ahead and add the red, red coin booster and give it one boost. We could even do like two if we wanted to. Yeah, these are, we're doing good here. This is good. Okay, so we're doing five units a second. Could even do six. All right, so that's taking three coins per second, I guess. Uh, I hope, <laughs> I don't know. It could be doing three per something, three per cycle. I don't know, It's it's such a confusing thing. Uh, but if we run out of red coins, then we know what's going to happen. We're going to run out of red coins. Anyway, uh, our goal for getting more houses or more tech level is going to be getting these metal rails and iron wheels, which sounds like the next uh, generation of railroading. Now, these houses are not quite to the purple roof stage. What's going on with them? They're kind of not that happy. I'm wondering if I should change. Oh, we have stuff happening here. We can do an upgrade. So sure, let's do it. Uh, and that gives us, of course, a much larger range. We could even move the schoolhouse further closer to here. I don't want to move it too many times. Let's just wait till the next uh, boost and we'll get there. So our purple coins are going to come from magic-y stuff, which we have no access to yet, I think. Let's just check this in the research lands. Machinery, steam power, railroads, and then tech level five... Oh, six is where we get Mage Tower. I don't know when we get the purple coins. I'm thinking, let's see, cargo ship. We haven't even used the ship yet. There's a lot of stuff here. Deep mining, jewelry, acquired from magic jewelry. I don't know. None of these things have those wand and, wands and stuff like that. Magical knowledge, uh, tome level two. Do we have magic stuff already? That And I've overlooked it. Pasture for... Oh, it's a pasture. Oh, that's animal things. Yeah, of course. Kitchen, fishery, medicine hut, mine, well, laboratory, crate, silo, barn. Oh, we also need to make a mine for all of this stone stuff. Uh, and give our people a break. Let's see. The mage tower. Is that what we need? Specialty goods is magic. Maybe a mage tower is what we need. I don't know. 
We'll have to find out, I guess. Airship dock. That sounds cool. I love airships. I really like them in uh, Cubia Factorium as well. That's a great game. Uh, yeah, we definitely need some stone mining over here. And I think that's what we're going to do at the very beginning of the next episode. But for now, we shall have to bid our town goodbye. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.